Welcome back to fucking universe uh, with Deathstalker and that. Uh, so in this episode, I think we're going to try and do that thing where I wanted to get um, elder bees to squeeze their fluid directly into uh, our new quantum reactor. Uh, there's no fuel in there at the moment, so it's not providing any power. We're reliant on night solar power, um, which I think this planet is so bright, we do actually get some um, power at night. And we've got 47 in the grid at the moment. Actually, first I need some scran. Um, I've got nothing in here. Let's just grab a few things and see if we can actually make anything useful at our thing for once. Uh, click that. Oh, corn on the cob. Ooh, this requires literally just corn. Ooh, that'll be good. Spicy feather crown. Hot, 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 hot. Learn to craft volcanic salsa and spicy ribs. Hmm, I really haven't done much cooking at all. Let's actually make one of these. Maybe this will lock, unlock something. Eh, apparently not. Anyway, scran time. And brilliant. Ow. I'm on fire. Fire! <laughs> well, that's a good food. Don't have the burning food, is my <laughs> considered opinion. Alright. So, let's have a look. There's my new centrifuge. Oh, that's... Th yeah, the new door. The new door blends in with the, the wall. <laughs> also, um, you may notice the, the, the aviary is uh, different now. Um, yeah, that was a very recent update. They're now thin. They're tall, thin, and white, and striped. And that. But they work in the same way. This is very dark in here. There we go. But they just work otherwise in the same way. It feels like I can actually squeeze them together. But I think the, the reason why they are separated in the first place, though, is to make sure that I can actually fit all the signs in the right place. Right, so it's night time still, just about. So the moon and the elder bees are working. But we're about to go into daytime, so everything else will start to work soon. So here we are with the elder bees. Not making... Actually, no, it's because it's all... Um, I think I actually did connect this up in the end. So that should all be sluicing on through to... Is it here? Oh, stuff just disappeared. Why did it disappear? I can't remember how I've... I honestly can't remember how I've hooked everything up these days. Oh, hang on. Why is stuff going into here? Did I just bung stuff in here for no reason? Hmm. Is it... There's a chance of connecting this up, up a bit wrong in that case. Oh, I know what's happened. I think that's this is just and because the, this is the grabber box, and I think for whatever reason I must have just thrown stuff in somewhere. I don't, who, who knows? Anyway, I'm gonna grab all this. I'm gonna put it into put it into the system. Let's see. Where's my um? Have I got any healing at the moment? So I'm fanning around, aren't I? I've got l millions of bandages. I wonder if this is um uh, spoiler ape stuff. Eh, whatever. Anyway, the grabbers are doing their stuff. Killing all the bees. Oh. Lads. Lads, I just blew up. Why did I just blow up? That's actually knocked a hole out of the wall. Why did I blow up? One of the bees have started to get testy. Huh. I'm not otherwise being still. What am I wearing these days? Nothing. I'm nude under my social stuff. Why well, have I got no armour on? I didn't prepare for this episode at all. I'm going to go and put something on. I'm nude and hurting. Let's actually go for the armour. The, the amber armour, because that's actually our bee stuff, isn't it? That'll protect me from stings. Or sting. Actual sting. Anyway. So we now need, instead of the elder fluid going into wherever the hell it's supposed to go, which I think is this over here. Oh, I know why. The, the honeycombs are automatically going through to the honeycomb... Yeah, that's right, because I've set it up. So that honeycombs that go into there then go into up here. In theory, let's have a look. I was actually cleverer than I thought last time. Yeah, this is all automatically filling up nicely. I really should actually put some of these through the centrifuge and see what we can get. I should have thinking about it. Elder fluid, maybe... Does elder fluid actually come out of it? And Maybe it only comes out as the elder honeycombs, and then you actually have to centrifuge it, and then... We'd have to connect it up to the reactor. I wonder if that's actually possible to do then. I'm looking at the wrong thing again. That's just bees. So we've got honey. Honey comes out of this. Loads of honey. There's other stuff going as well. I fear it. Now there's some elder fluid there. So maybe it does actually come out. I think it I think it does. I think they do produce it directly. So in which case what I'd want to do is probably I'm not sure if I should hook it up directly. I might as well to be honest, I may as well hook it up directly to the elder bees thing. Um, I got stung again there, I think, or something. 
But let's just check. I just want to make sure that Elder Fluid actually works. I don't think we did this last time. Let's go all the way up. I believe the, um, the quantum reactor can take this stuff. Better bloody do. I think also in this episode I'll probably just go up dungeon hopping. For, we won't do that for a long time. It'd be fun. Yeah, there we go, look. 204 powers. 208 powers! 211 powers! Yeah, this takes a while to actually warm up, I think. How long is it? How quick does it go, though? Because it used one up immediately, and then it's actually giving quite a bit of... Um... Alright. That seems to be quite realistic. So I'm half tempted to just, like, get rid of all this. I don't, I don't really need to get rid of the solar power, but I like the idea of relying on this now. I'm just having it be powered exclusively. I think that'd be fun. So let's just try and hook this up. There's actually no way in. Oh, yeah. If I'm on the roof, there's no actually way in. Maybe I should put a door there. But how often do I actually come up here? Never. Oh, I haven't actually got that glide EPP on at the moment. I don't think I actually showed this. At some point, I made all these. I started growing all these because we needed them to make um, the, the frames. I think I did most of that off camera, all the, an the anti mite frame stuff. M I T E mites. Yeah, so they're growing happily in the. In the pissing rain. Right, so we need um we need an ITD. Let's double check. Are we making more fluid yet? It's actually a very slow process, by the looks of it. No nothing new there yet. I'm just gonna rearrange stuff a little bit, just so everything's in. There's no sort button, is there? No, that's Minecraft. <laughs> oh there's some! Elder fluid. Right, so it looks like it's gonna be a slow old process, but I think they I'm hoping that they produce ow. I'm hoping that they, they actually produce more than they... That's bloody nocturnal bees. I can't even read that sign anymore. It's too dark. Um, anyway, yeah, so let's let's try and find my ITDs. I'm not quite sure where I put those these days. I used to keep them in a chest there. I think it must... I'll probably put them in here. For, I think it counts as furniture. Oh, there's so much gunk in here these days. There's even a car. Also some colony deeds. Right, can I actually see... Oh, there we go. There's one. That's not very many. In fact, that's exactly one. So I think that's all I need. One ITD. What? I don't even think I need a storage bridge because I'm going to reuse the existing one. I don't even need it because it's a it's an aviary. Right. So they're busy doing that. So let's have a look at the thing. All I need to do is move that, so it's no longer being pulled in by that ITD. Um, where should I put this? So it's it's not going too far, is it? It's going to the. Oh, actually, it is going quite a long way. It's going all the way over to there. So I'll put the ITD somewhere fairly incongruous. What am I even selecting there? I was actually uh, I was opening up an ITD for some reason there. Right, there we go. So we need to hook that up to... Inf mm. Actually, hold on. We need to just, just dump that for a sec. Stop it. Get rid of the... There we go. Right. Let's actually do it from this side. First of all, we need to get rid of the existing one. There, this is more like it. Then we can put it up to there. And then the output will be... Oh, which one is it? That one? I don't have to go around. I don't know which one it is. Logic node connect. The wire to control output. What the hell does any any of that mean? Oh no, it just it just went up. Oh, that's that means it's working already. Um. However, I don't actually theoretically want it to pull in everything, just in case it produces anything else. But it shouldn't do though, because it's um, since there's it, so long as there's always always um, always something in there, it shouldn't pull in anything but elder fluid. However. Just in case it ever goes down to zero and then tries to put in a B or something. Let's just quickly do that. And it has to be the exact one. And I think I may have to change the input slots again just to make absolutely sure. And look, it's actually putting out other stuff as well. Elder Stone and Elder Rotcom, which we do not want into our power thing. Uh, it should be okay though. Am I really... I think, to be honest, I'm going to accept anything because it doesn't really matter. Does it? If it's pulling in... El it's, it's gone. If it's pulling in Elder Fluid, then... Yeah, whatever. The thought occurs, though, that um, I'm never going to be... Never going to empty this stuff either, am I? 
now I've actually removed that and um, pulling things. So I actually might need a second ITD to actually go back into here. Hmm. The trouble is, I mean, this is pulling in absolutely everything. It's really hard to see what's going on now. But I should be able to do it. I think if, if I just make another ITD and then just fix it so it does everything but Elder Fluid, we should be fine. Unfortunately, I have to make an ITD now. How primitive. Right. How do, how do you actually make the damn thing? It's been ages since I actually made I think I made it loaded at once. And then... Right, it's not actually there, is it? Or is it? It might be. No, it's here. Right, ITD. Oh, or is it? <laughs> God damn it. Ah, oh, there it is. ITD. Uh, we, oh, God. Iron bar, laser diode. Can I just move this out of the way? Right, here we go. This is the way to do it. I bet there's no iron bars. I bet there's something really dumb like no iron bars. I've got 610. I tell a lie. Laser diode. Mm -hmm. 26. Blimey. Glass and copper. I think we had problems last time with copper, didn't we? But we've probably made some since. I think it was the right sort of glass. Now, copper! Item time for a device. Let's make... Let's make a heady four. Right, there we go. Get rid of all the gunk. And let's make sure that we can empty our apiary. Maybe I should actually make them bigger apiaries at some point, because I've never actually done that. So I've, always, I've left it as these diddy ones. Right, so... We need to bung in... There we go. Oh, it's already in my hat bar. We'll do with the elder thing. We'll hide it up there, awkwardly over to, half over the top of the sign. <laughs> Ow. Alright. So I think the way we'll do this, I think, is just take in one of those. One of those. And which one was it? What are we even looking for? Oh, it's under food, isn't it? Oh, is it? Oh, where's it gone? Oh, it's there. Fine. Elder Rotcomb. This... Actually, thinking about it, the rock comb has to go to the bloody... No, it's okay. It's fine. So it can be either of those two. I think... I don't have to forbid anything, do I? No. I'm starting to forget how to do all this. Um, anyway, so I need to pull in stuff from here. So that'll be from there. Then that'll be to... There. Right. So we should start... We should start seeing... Oh, blimey. Oh. The rock comb will, will work its way through, but we'll also be getting Elderstone as well. So I'm not quite sure if that's actually working just yet, but we'll see if it's actually pulled stuff in. The one thing I don't want to happen is for it to pull in um, Elder Fluid through here. The, uh, hopefully the ITDs won't fight amongst themselves. Uh, for some reason, I'm having a bit of a brain ache to, w to whether we need to forbid anything further, but yeah, it should be okay. Meanwhile, I've got some Tritium, which we were looking for last time. I might put some of these things through. I was half thinking about automating this. Um, just using it so like I'm having a dedicated um, centrifuge just for things, and then it can, it can pull in all the honeycombs into there, and then have a dedicated output slot here. Um, and everything would, be, would go automatically. I wonder if I should do that. Maybe I should. Um, anyway, let's... I'm going to do, do, do a few. I think I need... How do you get half again? Or was that my... Again, that might be Minecraft. Um, shift. Shift and click? Yes, it is. Shift and right click. Right, that's fine. Forgetting how to work this stuff. Right, put that there. Might as well just put this through for now, since you can only have one input. Oh, that actually does also give you elder fluid. Does it give you anything else, though? Oh, it's more bloody else. Oh, I guess it's... Nah. nah. Well, fine. Of course, it doesn't give you any more combs, because that would be silly. Hmm. Not particularly that um, useful. I wonder if there's anything else that we could centrifuge that will actually be useful. I'm trying to look at more of the rarer ones. Godly honeycomb. I'm going to have a bit of a whack on that one. Give it up with you. Oh, that's where you get... Ooh, matter block. We needed that at some point. Are they stuck? Dark matter. Ooh, look at this. Dark matter greaves. I wonder if, they are, I wonder if that's any good. Let's reset the camera. 
a little bit of lag. Also getting hungry again. Let's have a look at the armory. So go the long way around. Right. Dark. Right, so what have we got? We've got 25, 35, 50 total armour. And for this you actually need to... You need Ephedium and also Retchel Fruit. don't think I've seen any Retchel Fruits around the place. I wonder if I can actually make some Retchel Fruits. Well, I can make the seeds. And for that we'll need te Tether Hook Weed. Immunization, resistance. Most of this stuff I'm not... Ooh. Immunization, resistance and nether touched. Well, we've got nether touched. Apparently I didn't. Ma I never made this. Oh no, I never made this. I think this would be a spoiler if we got that because it's just opened up some more crafting stuff. Mm. No, I don't think we can do this just yet. Well, I need to get some food. Uh, food. Is there any more? I have to take some more stuff. I, mean, I need to... Bloody well. No, who cares. Let's just make some cooked tentacles. If we can. I think you may just have to put that in uh, a normal campfire, actually. Or I'll just have that. Raw tentacles. So can you actually... Can you actually... Uh, put this in there? Hmm. Cooked tentacle. Apparently not. I forgot it was actually a different system to what I realised. Uh, anything in there? No. God, all this stuff and a... Why is there some bog roll in there? God damn it. All this stuff and hardly any of it's actually any use. Uh, yeah, none of it's, a lot of it's just not proper food. It's um, a fracking universe food that gives you effects rather than hunger replacement. Hmm. I could get the, the stuff that kills me again. Oh, grape juice. Let's have some grape juice. First time I cooked that and all. Suddenly you seem to be hungry all the time. Alright, kill me. Hmm. Yeah, that hurt. <laughs> Again. Never mind. Anyway, let's have a check out our centrifuge. Got a lot of dark um, matter, whatever the hell it is. I'm gonna put this back in here. Um, let's have a look at something else. A mythical honeycomb. That might be um, that might be tasty. Amber. Ooh. All right. Also some old tub. Well, leave that one going. I think. Uh, I, sh I should also put everything into my drop box. I'm still burning. All this food. I can't remember if the food. Um. Let's have a look. I'm gonna just check to see if my food thing works. I'm not quite sure if I've actually made it the food thing. Oh, I should have done. Yeah, look, all the food that I am um, just put in has actually been filtered into here. So yeah, that, the food thi the, the food filter is actually working. Thank God. Yeah, okay. I'll put them all in like this. Uh, anything else? Well, I'll get rid of all this as well. I think I'll probably leave in some of the, the basic stuff. That's not really basic, but never mind. The ITD can go. More elder fluid. That should hopefully go where it's supposed to go. I think things work these days. I think I got everything pretty much sorted out. These are that stuff that just doesn't have a filter at all yet. Liquids, the elder fluid. Oh, we got loads of elder fluid in here. Okay, let's see. We've, we've been finding around quite a while, so let's see uh, the, about whether we're actually ultimately gaining or losing fluid out of this. Oh, we got up to thirty. So I think we're actually making more than we're using. Which means the quantum reactor is now, essentially, um, giving us all the power we need and it'll never run out. Um, it's a renewable source. Mmm, source. Uh, anyway, let's go off planet for a bit. In fact, I should really get rid of that elder fluid. I really don't want it ligging about the place, do I? Also, what's that? Portal juice. If near death, warps you elsewhere. Might be useful. So you might look at my armour compared to... This, uh, this armour is actually better than that dark matter armour that I was thinking of making. Also, for some reason, I'm... What am I? I've got jump boost and... Oh, I've got thorns. That's what that means. It actually means I hurt other people that... Yeah, whatever. So I'm wondering... I don't know where we're actually going to go. Um, I'm wondering if we should take some additional armour, just in case we, we go somewhere that's a bit piss. If we go anywhere radioactive, I can wear that. If we go anywhere poisonous... Well, let's... Let's take both. That should be going into my... There. 
I'm going to put the bog roll there. <laughs> it's now wearing bog roll. Never mind. Right, let's go off planet. Aim to ship. It's been a while. I don't know where to go yet, so we'll, we'll have a look. No crew members aboard these days. I wonder if they, uh, I'm not... Not 100% sure, but maybe there's... Well, actually, there's that one. But we did actually have loads of crew members who looked like me. We got a tailor, but they all disappeared in the great crashing. Don't know where we are these days. Let's go somewhere else, wherever we are. Tidewater. Unknown. Let's go to the, Let's go here. Maybe we go to the unknown planet. Give ourselves some sexy adventures. So we've arrived, we've arrived at the unknown planet. I like to visit these places from time to time. Apparently, this is an extreme threat. It's got penumbrite, which we don't get very often. Um, but look, looking at it, we've got some poisonous gas. So we will need to wear um, this set of armor. Now that should protect us. Although these unknown planets can be a bit unpredictable. Also, I still haven't replaced my weapon, have I? Cock. Have I got any weapons? What, what even is this? This is just... Oh, I've got some, got some really piss weapons down here. Uh, they're both two-handed as well. And a high-pitched microphone. Hmm. I keep on meaning to replace this bloody sword that I, I think I just tossed away it during the episode by, by mistake without noticing. It's really obnoxious, that. God, we're, gonna have to, we're just going to have to not... Hang on. Let's put that in my one slot instead of two. Is there anything else I can... I feel like I, I need a... Um, a, a good blasty gun. Let's put that in four. Got plenty of bandages. Hopefully, well, we haven't actually got any food whatsoever, but hopefully we shouldn't worry too too much. We haven't, I haven't actually quite got to the planet yet. Here, hang on. There we go. Did I mention I just don't like that interface? <laughs> I mention that every episode these days. Right, off we go. With my great, big, stupid ass <laughs> unicorn weapon, whatever the hell it is. Okay, so this could be literally anything. Alright. That's spooky. It's a darken. Whatever it is. And the sun is just going down behind some whatever weirdo mountains they are. What other threats have we got? I'm damp. I'm wet and hysterical! Oh, hello. <laughs> lads. Hello, lads. Oh, it's a nice little village. I've got a, what the? It's not a nice little village. It's flooded. What the hell is this stuff? Oh, this is dark water, lads. The village is underwater, sort of. Yeah. All right. I've <laughs> never seen this before. Oh. <laughs> ah. No wonder they're actually upstairs at the moment. Oh shit. Sorry, lads. I'm gonna have to destroy your place. Huh. Well, this is a to-do. Why did you build your bloody village here? Got a leak in the basement. Oh, thankfully it doesn't actually reach up here. That's fine. Oh, he or she is winning late. Squawk. I should be. I should be stealing their stuff. Is that possibly the most vanilla bed possible? Bloody hell. Also some nice chairs and a vent. Nothing really much to steal. Well, these aliens, not rich people. No water there, thankfully. Oh, hello. A, a decent one-handed sword. That'll do. It's not as good as my other one. My amber blade is 18 damage, and this one's 12, but it also does have a, a frost attack, or whatever. Oh, look at this. Look at the um, look at the ground there. Most odd. Anything to buy? Methanol. All right. Also a peacock headdress, which I can't afford. I don't have much money at the moment. And that's a crate. Now oh, I'll just switch something off. Oh, this is very vanilla, but... Just in such a peculiar planet. It's just dark. Right, let's see. Oh, well, there's a, um, an upgrade module? <laughs> just lying about the place. I'll take it. I wonder if I actually do need to do anything with this at the moment. I haven't really touched this in a million years. Matter destruction rate. Upgrade. No, I haven't really got any. Enable. I can't, I've done all this, haven't I? Yeah, nothing I can do there. I haven't really got many of... Oh dear. Things are going seriously... skew if here. People are dying left, right and centre. No wonder you're so alarmed. Hmm. Oh! Oh, hello. Right. 
Where's my weapon? Easy. And I've also got some delicious steak. Anyway, what I was trying to say is, have I got any... I think it's spoiler paper as the Xenon pack. I'm not even sure what um, thing I've got at the moment. This... this may be useful. This may emit a faint glow. Yes, it does, I think. Or is it my weapon that's doing that? I don't know. I'm a bit concerned that there's a... How much water is here? Is this an ocean planet? Sort of. It's a dark ocean planet. I'm not quite sure how we managed to get a bloody village on here, then. Ow! I was about to give up. <laughs> no, there we go. This is more like it. Tonk! Tonk, 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 tonk. Oh, he's, 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 um, he's hurt, hurt delicious. Don't like him. Right. You realise I actually got so low on health. There's also a, a double mate situation down there. I think they need... Both barrels of this one barreled. No. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, trying to, trying to, uh, trying to do a trick shot. Oh, what are you, what are you popping out? I don't. Like it. I don't. Yeah, it's doing something weird. Probably. Oh, careful, 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 careful. It's a, it's a pain delicious extreme planet. This. Also, it's raining outdoors. Light's not helping again, though. I don't even. I don't even need any pin and bright, but I, I suppose I should be looking for some. I'm just gonna get stuck in. I think. There we go. That's one of them, and that's the other one. All right. Let's do a dig down. Oyster clay oyster shell. Why am I getting oysters out of this? Oh, it's, it's just islands. Oh dear, that's some. Oh no. Oh dear, that's gonna. That's gonna absolutely kill Starbound. I think I've just tipped loads of sand into the ocean. Right, let's get out of here. This might not actually be a very useful planet after all. I don't suppose I've got a boat, have I? What's this? What's that cloud? What have I been doing in this ship? I've got nothing in the fridge. It's a nice fridge, though, actually. Refrigerated storage. Uh, okay. I'm not sure this is a good planet. Is there anything else around here? Volcanic primeval... There was, I think it was some sort of larvary thing. Ah, uh, Florent. Exiling hunting grounds. Um, I think we've been there. Oh, this scientific research station still is a placeholder. That still hasn't actually been invented yet. Uh, it's not a very good system, this. Maybe I'll try a different one. Okay, I've actually come to a mountain planet in the same system. Just out of, um, well, because it was closer, really. Uh, so I'll just finish the episode. Let's have a bit of a quick look around here. I'm gathering some more ores. Nothing spectacular. This is not the best weapon in the world, is it? Oh, no, the, we the best weather in the world. God damn it. It's a peculiar old place, though. I think that's titanium, isn't it? I really need, should be starting to gather in some more of the, the rarer ores. And mountain planets don't really have that, do they? What's this? Oh, it's healing water. Ah, oh, most handy. Delicious. I think this is a, a non-good place to be. But it'll get us stocks of... Oh, sulphur. I'm not sure if I actually will ever need that. There's also a bit of food up there. Let's grab the food. A little bit of currant corn. Also a brown flower! Woo! Hooray! Currant corn. Just eat that. Brown flower seeds. What am I at the moment? I'm sopping wet. Oh look, there's a, some bees! That's are some bees. I'm not sure what they are. Just for all time's sake. Even though we've got every single possible bee now. Don't tell me I haven't got a bloody... Oh, yeah, there we are. There. Oh, honeybees. How how perfectly early game. Yeah. Right. Okay, so I'll have a quick one around this planet just to get, just try and see if there's any like interesting dungeons. There might be. Ow! Oh. Hmm. There's a USCM base, uh, but because I th because that's there, I think they've also it's, it's spawned some floating islands, uh, which is always nice to see. Quite rare, I think. Yeah, floating island. Can't see it because it's dark. But hey yo, let's keep going. Oh, f ow. Well, I went round it. There's nothing there. It was a small crap planet. 
<laughs> it's a bit of a flat ending to the episode. I'm sorry about that. Um, but I think um, I do want... Hello. What's he on about? Um, I do want to do some uh, proper actual dungeon explorations, because there's a lot we haven't seen. And there's also loot boxes, which I've yet to see, actually, myself. And I would like to actually get one, though. I think I mentioned it in a previous episode. Anyway, yeah, we'll stop here. Uh, so thanks for watching. Do um, check me out on the rest... What the hell? <laughs> I'm not sure where I'm going with that one. Do check me out. That's right. Um, me. Just check me out. Uh, <laughs> or whatever. Do subscribe and all the usual stuff. Okay, see you next time.